Hey guys, James Wise with Holton Wise. Today I am analyzing an investment property for one of my investors. Let's dive in. One one nine two four Parkview Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio four four one two zero. This property was listed on the MLS by some real estate agents out of a Remax office here in the Cleveland area. The price four thousand dollars. This is a duplex. Each unit has two beds and one bath. It is totally vacant. The annual taxes are seven hundred dollars a month. It was built in nineteen twenty. My client, Nicholas M., he is out of the country. He wants to know if this is going to be a good investment. Now, Nick, when you were sending me an email, you had mentioned that you were very curious about this investment because you are familiar with my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, but you were a little confused because you saw in there that 44120 is part of an A-class neighborhood, but on my color-coded map, that was actually coded red. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with the ultimate guide that Nick is familiar with, I have it up on the screen here. What I've done is I made this, this article and I've graded every single neighborhood in Cleveland on an A to F scale. You know, we kind of color coded it. So right here you have the west side of town. Over here you have the east side of town, which is what Nick is talking about. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. You see, A class neighborhoods, this is, you know, the highest of the highest. These are the highest end homes here in the Cleveland market. We have a suburb called Shaker Heights that shares the 44120 zip code. The median income in Shaker, that's $75,000. So if you could find yourself a house in Shaker on the cheap, that you got to buy that every day, all day, right? But this property, you see, same zip code, but this is actually in Cleveland. But if you scroll down and you go down to the F-class neighborhoods, as you'll see, I have this right here, Cleveland 44120. Now, the median income is actually considerably higher for this zip code because it is sharing uh, a little bit of Shaker Heights. But this neighborhood, sometimes, the, you know, this blog, it's meant to really give you guys a general idea. But, you know, some of these things are going to be a little neighborhood by neighborhood. So those numbers, I guess what I'm trying to say is those numbers are skewed a little bit, like in regards to this actual house. Like, if you actually look at the house, you know, here's the listing. Here is the property. I mean, right here, you got mattresses, <laughs> just like all strewn through the yard. Uh, just, you know, it looks totally jacked up. Now, I'm not saying mattresses and the house being totally jacked up is an automatic no, don't buy this. I actually do think this investment would work well for some people. However, Nick, I don't think you're that guy based on what you're looking for because you're looking to be in an a-class neighborhood and you, you not only are you out of state you're actually out of the country so for you nick i, I don't know if this is really going to be the right investment specifically because not only are you out of state you're out of the country and it sounds to me based on your questions you're looking for a more stable neighborhood so i just really think you know you're just getting a little confused because you're so far away you're looking so far away and some of the data, it's a little skewed with Shaker Heights sharing the same zip. Now, if we break this down even further, you know, that was the listing photos. On this screen, what I've pulled up for you guys, this is the Google, Google Earth. Now, Google Earth is a great tool. You should always check out Google Earth. There's your property right there. You know, this is from 2014. Now, in the nicer neighborhoods, pretty much every year or two, Google is adding new photographs. But I, I found in the really, really rough neighborhoods, some of your photos are going to be old. Because even, even the guys on Google don't want to drive down these neighborhoods. I mean, if you if you turn it and you look here, right, just, just squeeze it over here across the street. There's probably a house here, another one here, that's two, three. It looks to me like four houses were totally torn down, just literally right across the street. Squeeze over here, you got boards on the windows right next door. Here's another vacant lot. So, like, in the immediate vicinity of this property, we have five properties that were so destroyed, they were torn down. So, everything about this is telling us this is an F-class neighborhood. 
Now, to go even further into the stats, let's bring up the comps. Now, just so you guys know, typically as real estate brokers, when we run comps for properties in the city, what we are usually doing is we are doing the comps based on a quarter mile from your property, everything that's sold in the last six months. Now, since the area that this house is located in is so dilapidated and distressed, I actually had to do the comps all the way out at one year just to give you guys enough comps to look at. Now, this is it. This is it, guys. Within a quarter mile of this property, only 10 multifamily properties have sold. So I know a lot of you guys are looking at this like, okay, it's 4000 What about the condition? What's going to be the ARV? Right? The condition, by the way, it's probably totally destroyed based on the exterior pictures and the price point. I'm going to assume this thing is totally destroyed. A lot of times on these analysis, I like to go out there and I like to give you guys a video tour and go inside. But this neighborhood, we can't even do that. This neighborhood is so dangerous that I can't even send my staff members out there, nor will I go out there. This is a neighborhood that Holton Wise will not manage in. Like literally, if you're driving there, you have a high risk of being carjacked, robbed, shot. That's just not a risk we can put ourselves at. You know, that's why the property is priced so low. I would assume the listing agent only has exterior photos because the listing agent didn't even want to go inside of the property. I mean, these are the types of properties where the doors are totally broken and you have squatters, junkies, you know, they become just, just horrible trap houses. And, you know, if you walk inside of one of these things, you know, you're liable to get attacked. So the listing agent... You know, they didn't even make any attempt to clean anything up. The listing agent, they know what they have here. They have just a totally beat down property. And again, let's go back to the comps, right? Only 10 properties have sold in this neighborhood. On the low end, we have 8,000, 8,550, 12,500, 1450. You know, then we get a couple in the 20s, and then we have two. Only two properties in the whole year have sold in a quarter mile area of this property. One sold for 42,900, the old other one sold at 40,000. The issue, the main issue outside of all the risks and all the danger. If you pick this property up at $4,000, you being completely out of state, you not having a infrastructure here on the ground in Cleveland. And I'm talking like an infrastructure like your own business, like you're not just hiring general contractors or property management companies. I'm talking you own your own contracting business and, and your employees are literally just that they're your employees it's the only way you can feasibly renovate a property like this for under forty thousand i mean you have to do everything to this property you got your normal stuff your painting your floors but you know these these horrible houses in these horrible neighborhoods you know the people they break into these properties and they steal everything they will steal the plumbing they will steal the electrical they will steal the fixtures anything that has metal on it they will steal it i have seen them steal the gutters, they have stolen the aluminum siding. So you're looking at well over $40,000 to put this thing back together. Not to mention, you know, during the renovation time period, this neighborhood is so stressed out and, and so distressed. How many times is your house going to get broken into and you have to start at the beginning? Now, shaker, right? What you really want, I think you really want shaker. Likewise, if I pull the comps on shaker, now, these are all the duplexes that have sold in Shaker during the same time period. 31 of them have sold. If you're looking for a distressed property in Shaker Heights to try to add some value, that is great. But, you know, you're not going to pick it up for $4,000. On the low end here, you know, we have 52750 57000 62000 Those are the cheapest properties that have sold in Shaker Heights all year. Now, if we scroll down here, look, we're already... Only a handful in, we're up over 100,000, 120,000, 125, 133. And then we get all the way down to the high end. These things are selling as much as 187, 173, 172. So if you want to get the benefits of that A class neighborhood, Nick, you're going to have to pay for it. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys too, just to highlight the differences, I wanted to pull the single family comps up. Now, the single family comps to our house in the rough neighborhood here. Only four houses have sold in the last year. Three of them have sold under four thousand dollars. We have four thousand, four thousand, thirty-four hundred, and then one did sell for twenty-five thousand. But again, that's the most expensive single-family home that is sold in this neighborhood. Whereas if we contrast that with Shaker comps, same time period, the Shaker neighborhood, two hundred thirty-eight have sold. That's four versus two hundred thirty-eight. Now, 
Don't get confused, by the way. This is another thing where the numbers can confuse you. If you look at this one right here, it says $3,000. This is direct from the MLS. Do not be confused by that. If you actually pull up this listing, this is actually a mansion, okay? This is a mansion, and this was actually listed at $499,900. It was on the market for 200 days. What I believe happened here to me, I mean, look, if you look, the property taxes themselves are more than what this number is. This number is 3000 The property taxes on this mansion are $20,000 a year. What I believe it happened was they had this thing on the market for a very, very long time. It didn't sell, so what the agent did is they ended up renting it. They rented it for $3,000 a month, but the agent did not go in and remove the for sale listing and change it to a rental listing. They just typed in that amount. So this is another thing that can totally trick you or throw you off. And that's why I do these analyses for you guys, right? That's why I analyze these properties and I give you guys a completely unbiased opinion. You're looking at my ultimate guide and it does confuse you a little bit because you see 44120. Part of it is an A neighborhood and shaker. The other part of it, it has a pretty high, you know, median income. But when we actually dig deeper and I give you that local knowledge, you see, holy crap. This property's totally destroyed. Holton Wise won't even step foot in the neighborhood. You know, that's not good for an out-of-state investor. I'm not saying that it's a terrible property and nobody in the world should buy it or won't buy it. That, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, Nick, you being out-of-state, out-of-the-country, it's just not going to work for you. It's got to be a local person or someone who does live abroad, but they already have a local boots-on-the-ground business, as in they own the business themselves. Let's not confuse that with hiring a company like Holton Wise. Because Holton Wise, you know, I have employees, right? And I'm paying for the overhead on those employees, and I have marketing costs and human resource costs. I eat all those costs, and then be because I have to cover all those costs, I then charge you, you know, a higher amount, enough to cover all those costs and make a profit. I'm talking about you're replacing me with yourself. Unless you have that, this doesn't make any sense. Now, back to Shaker, though. It would make sense if it was in Shaker because we have those 238 single families. So we went through the one that makes us believe, hey, maybe we really can get a deal. 3000 Nope, that's a mansion. That was rented. So on the low end here, we do have a couple, 37, 49, 55, 63, 63. Those are going to be like the lowest end property. So a property that's like totally destroyed in Shaker, you know, that's what you can look. But if you go through all these, they get higher and higher, you know. We go right above 100, 140, and we keep going, you know, 170, go to the next page. You know, cheapest one on this page, that's 177,000, all the way up to 225,000. And we still got three more pages of listing. So, you know, this is another 50 listings on this page. Low end, 225, goes all the way up to 321 two more pages guys another 50 here 321 we go all the way up 416 and then the last page 425 all the way up to 2 million 500 like i said that's why shaker is an a neighborhood so to get in at this neighborhood to get in, you know, totally distressed property, you will need to pay dramatically more than $4,000. Now, if there is anybody else watching this who is interested in this property and they think that this property could work for them, even though I've just explained all the potential negatives, if you want, I can act as your buyer's agent and write that offer for you. You know, we would need to submit to the seller as is offers. However, Holton Wise, we would not be interested in renovating it for you. We would not be interested in giving you an exact line by line bid on how much it'll cost, nor would we manage it for you after the fact. You have to have all of those things in play. But again, it's not my listing. You do not have to write the offer through me if you wanted to buy it. If you want to buy it, you can go ahead and submit that to the listing agent directly. I'm sure if you just Google the property, the listing will pop up. But for you, Nick, and all you other real estate investors who are watching this from out of state and you're looking for a totally passive investment, a nice investment vehicle to maybe build a little equity and just passively build yourself something safe and sound that Holton Wise can manage for you, this property is James Wise 
denied. This will not work for you. Now, everybody else, if you're out there and you saw another deal, maybe you saw it on the internet or a wholesaler presented it to you or another realtor is listing it and you want me to analyze it just like I have done here for Nick, go ahead and send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. I will, for an upfront fee, analyze any property you like in the Cleveland area. It's got to be in Cuyahoga County. And if there is access to get inside of it or it's vacant, we try to get inside as many as humanly possible. Or if they're in highly distressed areas like this one today, we'll try to break out as much local knowledge and comparable data as we possibly can to give you guys the full picture so you don't go out there and buy yourself a $4,000 property and then dump $40,000 into the renovation. And then later, two years later, you realize, oh, my tenants have moved out. They didn't pay. Everything went horrible. I need to resell it. And what do you know? It's worth $4,000 again. That's $40,000 of your money just caught on fire. That's why I do these videos. That's why I analyze these properties to make sure guys like you and all those of you watching this who are not necessarily that familiar with the Cleveland market, I don't want to see you guys make a forty, fifty thousand dollars mistake. Because just like this listing agent has listed this for four thousand, guys, I sell four thousand, five thousand, six thousand dollar properties all the time, and typically they are for out of state owners who reach out to me. James, I bought this property. My tenants left. My property manager said they can't do anything anymore. People broke in. They stole everything please sell it for me. Get rid of this. And I go ahead and I sell it. And the cost to sell these properties is after you add in your realtor commissions and your closing costs and all that, you're looking at between five and $6,000 to sell these properties. Well, if you do the math on that, you sell a property for 4,000, but it costs 6,000 to sell it. You're bringing 2,000 to the, you're bringing, you're bringing $2,000 to the table, not to mention whatever you lost trying to renovate it. And in most cases, it's like 40 or $50,000. So again, that's why I do the videos. If you're thinking about buying an investment property, I send out one investment property every single day at 1 p.m. Click the link below to subscribe to my mailing list. Or if you saw an investment property in any other way, wholesaler, another realtor, Google for sale by owner, REO tape, or you're thinking about buying something at the, for, you know, at the courthouse steps, guys, I will analyze it. I will give you my unbiased opinion. That's it for today. Nick, I hope this answers all of your questions. As always, guys, I am James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, 
Holton Wise as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.